if you can see up here, there's two halyards. The blue one is attached up there. It's actually stretched a little bit, but that one holds the bottom spar. Let me show you right above my gear. Okay. The other halyard holds it up about a foot higher. When I'm going in lighter wind, I'll put that so I have more space to duck under when tacking. So I just stopped here because it was starting out as 15 mile an hour winds. And as we can see out here, there's a bunch of white caps on the horizon there. And I'm not out into the big lake yet. And so I want to drop the sail a little bit and you know depower some so that I have more control and I can go quicker a little more stable out there so there is something on YouTube there's a there's a gust adjust or the gens rig and I've done it and, and essentially what it is is up top here we have a rope that comes down and you can look this up and so the the sail that that upper spar is held up by a rope and so you have a rope over top of a rope and I don't really like that action I mean I have search and rescue background and just don't like ropes rubbing on another rope uh, causing that friction maybe cutting through it I also just didn't like how it wasn't a really secure attachment point it does seem to work but I have an alternative here I'm going to call this the high wind halyard and essentially what I have is two halyards here one that's tension this is on the moderate or light wind setting and this one is tied higher on the upper spar there and so both of these are going through the fair lead and essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to uncleat this one I'm going to hold on to the blue uncleat the other and it's just going to basically replace okay and I just pull it in tight all right so now I just drop the sail about eight inches and I'm going to do the same thing here with rigging just like before, back through the fair lead. I'll push down a little and clean it off again. Coil this up again, clean up my deck, stick it under. Now we're back to sailing. High wind halyard, baby. As you can see, I have two halyards here. They go through there, I try to keep them nice and neat, no, no flips or anything, no twists. And then down here, we can look, and yes, I use Sharpie on this, but uh, one's at 64 and one's at, it's not, well, it's labeled under there as 74, okay? And so that's from the end of the spar. When it's lower wind, I use this black and white rope attached at 74. So it pulls it up higher it pulls the sail up higher so it sits in here somewhere and it's because it's higher now there's more push more leverage on the top of the sail and so the boat certainly tips over a lot more when I use the blue one pulled up here uh, just over 64 inch again from the from the end down there when it's just a, when it's pulled up with the blue one it sits lower so just really above where it's sitting right now instead of here it's here so it's about a foot difference so the sail is then lower overall there's less push on the top and it makes an enormous difference on this thing not tipping over as much look at that guy look at how steep it is <laughs> i know i've said it before i'll say it again why dropping this sail makes such a difference just amazing if you're in big winds, ever, you gotta drop your sail. It's night and day difference. Woohoo! As I mentioned yesterday in the wind, I felt really good, really stable in that wind, even though it was high wind, and even though in the past, if I had been using it at my normal setting with this black rope, um, I would have been tipping and it would have been really chaotic with it with the sail lower it was much 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 more controlled than i ever would have expected uh just lowering it a foot it, it just makes such a huge difference i can't emphasize that enough that uh please lower your sail 
uh, you know, and like I said, there is a gens rig or uh, gust adjust. And I, I like this system though, because you know, it just, it makes it really easy. Uh, you don't have to rig much beforehand, just a second rope and it's set and you don't have your sail kind of bobbing around up here on the rope. And so down here, I just pull the one I want, cleat it off. I'll cleat the other halyard off over top of the one that's in use just to keep the rope from getting loose and, and away I go, it's, it's good. It's been working really well. So, and it's really, it allows me to adjust those things in the water as well. So if I am out there and it's just crazy, I just drop one down, pull the, other, the blue one, cleat it off and away I go. And so, you know, just turn into irons, do that. Good to go. You know, it's been, it's been great. I never used to use the two halyards and so therefore I didn't really adjust it very much. So I kind of have one setting that was more for low wind and I'd get into high wind and it would be pretty rough. It makes such a huge difference dropping the whole sail down a foot. So really, if you haven't done it yet, try it out. Click and watch the playlist on your screen right now for more sunfish sailing tips and outings. Thanks for watching.